right, I'm going to teach Imagine, uh, you know, obviously an amazing song on piano, uh, but I've arranged it for guitar. I know there's a lot of other lessons on this tune, but I'm just going to kind of give my rundown on it, explain it. Uh, basically, the, there's, a, there's a verse, a chorus, and I guess what you would call a bridge, all right? The verse is a C chord. And then it becomes what's called a C major seven, and it's it's actually really easy. You just take your first finger off, and then an F chord, and a little lick. Take a closer look at what's going on. All right, here's what's going on. Um, I'm playing the C chord, and I'm kind of emphasizing the this bass note with my ring finger. I kind of hit that first, and then strum the chord. So it'd be. And then my first finger comes off, so. switch to an F chord. And when I play an F, I know a lot of people have problems covering both of these. Um, I actually don't really do that. I just play it these three, and then I'm kind of just letting my first finger touch that high E, you know, and it mutes it a little bit. So sometimes that's easier for people. And then we've got, and then I'm hitting the bass note right there. Three of those into the lick. Okay, um, here's the lick. My, where my middle finger is on the F chord, I hit that one time. And then my ring finger goes up a half step from where it was on the, on the G string. And you could hammer it. Obviously, it's on piano, so, you know, fortunately, no haters are going to say, you're not doing it right because it's on piano, so... You know, this is the uh, translate g guitar translation. Um, so uh, I think I usually hammer it. Okay. Now you could actually go up another half step because that's the next note. Like that. But what I tend to do, and then the open B string, which is the same note. And when you do that, you can just take your hand off for that B string back to the C chord again. So here's what the whole verse looks like. Okay, now let's talk about the chorus. Um, Beatles use this a lot, a little walk down. So it's kind of like adding a bass line within the, within the chords, okay? So I take the F chord, and I keep emphasizing the, the first note of the chord, like, like that. And we're going to do that again, but my uh, ring finger comes off. My middle finger goes to the second fret on the D string now. So it actually looks like an A minor 7, but you could also call it... Uh, an F over E. Okay, so here's those two again. Then I'm going to go to a D minor chord. So my middle finger is on the second fret of the G string. And what I'm doing is I'm going to put my pinky, this is going to be weird for some people, uh, my pinky on uh, the third fret of the B string, and then my first finger on the first fret of the high E string. And I'm, my root note of that chord is this D string right here. And the reason I play it this way is my ring finger is going to then go to the third fret on the A string within that chord. So here's what we have so far. And so 
so I just kind of emphasize that note and then strum the chord. And then it goes to a G chord or a G7. So if you're playing as a G7, you're going to use your ring finger on the third fret of the low E, middle finger right here, and pinky right there. And then you can... Just like that. Okay, here's that whole chorus in real time. So that's that. That is the verse and the chorus. All right. Now all we need is uh, the bridge. And the bridge, I just strum out. Um, you know, I just strum the chords out. All right. And it's uh, it's not too bad. It's um, let's see if I remember it here. It's uh, F G C and then E. You could also play E7. That's uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, here it is again. So once again, Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com with the Z. Uh, anyway, it was fun to, to just uh, teach you, uh, you know, one of those iconic songs, you know. Um, so anyway, we'll see you around later. Later.